The cowboys' deaths are still raw in the minds of many, and I've been refused access to where they died. Mm. I meet the witness, Reginaldo, at a nearby farm instead. Okay. He tells me that it happened during the wet season, when the pastures were flooded. A mule had become stuck in the water. Reginaldo and five other cowboys tried to rescue it. What they had to do was actually sort of go in and just try and pull the animal out. The first three cowboys went into the water. Reginaldo and the others hung back. As the first horses got up to their bellies, something startled them. All three cowboys were thrown into the water. The others immediately got out before it was too late. Mm. Mm. Well, I just asked why he didn't just jump straight in to try and help them, and he said something told me there was something in the water. It wasn't safe. He didn't want to be number four, the fourth victim. People who fell in the water actually disappeared, and we're talking water that was, um, it sounds like, three or four feet deep. Mm. I asked him what that leaves him feeling like. This was six years ago that it happened, and he said it's left this sort of uh, lingering sadness from having uh, lost his colleagues. Reginaldo's story helps me eliminate some potential suspects. Piranhas can definitely be taken off the list. When piranhas attack, it's an unmistakable feeding frenzy, with the water looking as though it's boiling. But Reginaldo saw only a calm surface. Also, from Reginaldo's account, stingrays can be struck off the list. If the cowboys had been fatally stabbed by rays, there would have been huge amounts of blood in the water, which he didn't see. Reginaldo has his own theory about the killer's identity. He's given me the name of a terrifying new suspect for the cowboy killer, the electric eel. No, he says although he didn't actually see anything, I mean, he is pretty certain that you know, this was electric eels that, that, that caused these three men to die. I have a prime suspect. A monster said to have mythical powers. And one I always feared I might encounter. Now I have to try to catch one. Known locally as Porake, the electric eel isn't actually an eel at all. It's a member of the knife fish family. They can be found throughout the Amazon and Orinoco river basins. They can grow to over eight feet long and deliver a charge that's enough to light up a house. Here we go. A bull shark this far inland is a real eye-opener.